Muslim Federation. And do you know that even the constitution that we use today, which is the 1999 constitution, denies what is called a no or touch turning. Mm. In other words, there is no referendum, there is no plebiscite. The people of Nigeria did not vote to say, this is the constitution we yes. want. It was imposed on us by a military decree, and yet it remains the ground norm. I mean, what a misnomer. We are not in a dictatorship, but we are running a constitution that we didn't vote for. Hmm. And our administrative units have been carved on the basis of that constitution, supplanting our regional The constitution that operates in Nigeria today is a fraudulent, uh, mischievous document foisted on Nigeria by a departing uh, military junta. In fact, it is Decree 24 of 1999. Uh, which will have been a mere transitional instrument for governing a country of the stature and standing of Nigeria within the international community. I, I would have thought that the first item on the agenda of the government that came to power in 1999 was to address the issue of that constitution, its legitimacy. Uh, because, like the Patriots observed, it told a lie against itself by saying that we Nigerians, uh, under God, have agreed to live together, blah, blah, blah. There was no time when we were asked that question. And Nigeria, I believe, still uh, requires what lawyers call an autochthonous constitution, a constitution that, uh, uh, is ca that captures the needs and interests of the Nigerians, a, a constitution that uh, finds legitimacy in the eyes of the citizens, not one handed down from low and high by a military hunt. Our present extant constitution is an imposition of a military, a supreme military council that was not elected by anybody, that did not respect any known parameter in its recruitment except seniority in the army, that was lopsided in terms of its geographical identity of membership, imposed a constitution, enacted it like a legislation. It was not subjected to a plebiscite. It was not subjected to a referendum. In law, you say it's not a touch us because the people did not agree that the 1999 constitution is their constitution. We didn't vote for its approval. So it's not cognizable in law as a valid constitution. It has been imposed of us by sheer force. And no government has had the courage to subject it to a national plebiscite. And if you do, most Nigerians will say, this is not our constitution. We've created local government and state administrative structures that do not obey any known parameter. We've taken away the sovereignty of natural resources from our people and concentrated in an omnibus and amorphous federal government that is characterized by inefficiency over time. But Wole Shoika, as a man of knowledge, has just expressed the fact, unlike, you know, individuals that parade themselves as professors of constitutional law and constitutional lawyers, senior advocates and the rest, who still continue to defend the 1999 constitution as if it doesn't matter the source, it doesn't matter that it's a forged document by claiming that the people made it and it has been shown that the people didn't make it. In a suit that was filed on behalf of uh, Antonio Naro, Wole Shoika, Bishop Bonigi, uh, Dokubo Asari, Rafu Wazurike and a couple of other uh, like Yerima Shetima who just gave that ultimatum. Yeah, for the, he was part of the signatory to the lawsuit that was filed on their behalf by the uh, Secretary General of the Lower Ninja Congress. I dare to tell this nation today that this is the problem. This constitution can never give us progress. This constitution can never give us peace. This constitution can never give us unity. And unfortunately, most of us in this National Assembly, we don't have the spine to face what we need to give this republic to have peace and progress. What do I mean? This constitution has 68 items. 68 on the exclusive list. This constitution has only 12 
on the concurrent list. And those 12 are written so nebulously, so fraudulently, that you know that the intention is to even undermine those concurrent lists. The formal name of this republic is Federal Republic of Nigeria. Unfortunately, we don't run a federalist system in Nigeria. Otherwise, what is so unique about all those things that are in the exclusive list? In this chamber, we try to federalize the police system. In this chamber, we failed. Every crime is local. And the solution to every crime is local. The earlier that senators in Nigeria, someone the courage to say, we should not continue to deceive ourselves. Nigeria is threatening every but and groups. When we lie to ourselves and we're reaping the fruits of lying, we are victims of the lie that we call our own, the social contract, which is another name for the Constitution. We say we in Nigeria give this Constitution to ourselves. We didn't. It was imposed. And it's not working. It's centralized. And the good things of life are not available for Nigerians. And they are crying. And you begin to blame them. You don't blame victims. You blame the system that produced the victims. This Constitution is not made by Nigerians. It's imposed. A federal constitution should be truly a federal constitution. You don't centralize everything. Nobody can fix this system. It's like putting square peg in a round hole. It wouldn't work. It's not Buhari's fault or Jonathan or the previous ones. They, uh, they were handed and still being handed instruments, i.e. the constitution, that cannot work the way it is. Let us do an agreement. Constitution is an agreement that we agree to live together by these rules which we would spell out about governance. This current one is a fraudulent one uh, and, and it's given us victimhood because we never did it and they say we did it. If somebody say you did something that you did not do, is that not a lie? We went to court, the case is in court, praying the court to say look the Nigerian people never did it, the court kept adjoining, part of the problem we have. The case is still in court, in our started it a lot of uh, distinguished men and women up and down this country have their signature there. The case has not been taken. All right, we'll also anchor at that point. Uh, Dr. Amos Akingba is in Adeko and Afeni Ferry Chieftain. We appreciate your talking to us this morning. It's my great pleasure.